Today's tale began, kangaroo. She'd awoken during the night to tend a bit to Fritz in the hope that she would feel a little better. Cambia, she too arose with the malaria racking her body. She was not in a good way. Not in a good way. And Pira, Pira, she just slipped on. Ah, so we have enhanced. Interesting. Kangaroo. She was gonna head back towards bed, but I feel like uh, she possibly needs to maybe bury her father. Actually, strip hawk and bury her. I'm so sorry, kangaroo. Yes, your mother. She doesn't care. She doesn't care one bit. But you, you're a caring soul. So you will bury her. Stripping your sister naked. You march towards the grave. A sad, grim look on your face. Our crops have been hit by lightning. Can be our she rushes out to put it out, but, you know, she doesn't really need to. Can be our rest until healed. Get back in bed. You say a little prayer over Hawk. And then you can move back to bury your father. Well, here's the last corpse that needs to be Put away. Here, uh, she's off to make some porridge. Fortunately, food is a little scarce. A little scarce. We have plenty of pemmican. That won't last us forever. Kangaroo moves to bury her father. It's a touching sight as she hauls his slashed and stabbed body over to the graveyard the tragedy that happened not long ago she decides to go feed her mother some food she considers poisoning it since uh, this is all her fault all her fault meanwhile Doogie he just wanders around you know like nothing's happening he doesn't know any better. He doesn't know any better. Although, well, actually, she doesn't know any better. Although her friend, he has been, uh, turned into meat. Turned into meat. Hmm. It's a tragedy. Tragic end, indeed. Well, well, well. Can we... Unpause this for me, you know. Just uh, yo, cook it. I need some simple meals, not porridge. Before the meat goes off, Pira, Pira. Ah, kangaroo. She grabs some food, moves back towards her mother. Fritz is healing away. Healing away. I'm not sure how Fritz is going to feel about, uh... So how she's going to feel about this environment. She is waking up to blood and puke. In fact, that's kangaroo's puke. She was in there earlier. Trying to help Fritz out. And, uh... Looks like she's puked herself. Thankfully, she's now immune to the flu. Uh, her mother not faring so well. Her mother is still suffering from malaria. Bad case of malaria. Alright, kangaroo. You can do it. Uh, hmm. Pira. Uh, you can't haul, can you? 
cannot. Ah. Kangaroo takes, you know, a few moments to relax. And think about the disasters that have happened. I'm sure it has been many a disaster. But, uh... Ah, shit. Unrestricted. Unrestricted. Oh, God. Pyra. Pyra. Tobacco binge. Oh, God. I know it's a sad place to be. You're joy deprived. You're feeling bad. People have died. It's not all that bad. I mean, look at it. It's, you know, ready weapons outside. Bit of a defensive wall. I don't feel bad about this place at all. Don't feel bad about this place at all. Look at it. It's, it's beautiful. Beautiful. Why would you not want to live here, eh? Why would you not want to live here? You know how much pain this is. Man. Man, oh man, you're gonna puff up on, you know, the last of our any joy supplies. Would have been better if you'd actually cooked us a meal. You know, just quietly. Would have been better. Oh, the Mega Sloth's meat's gone. Oh dear. Oh dear. Food. It's getting a little scarce. Luckily, there's maybe plenty to be scavenged. Outside, kangaroos grabbed a number of meals for us. Fortunately, Pira just a bit confused about what's going on. Uh oh, damn, this needs tending. Uh, kangaroo, I'll let you haul that back. Let you haul that back. Because you need to grab medical supplies for old Cambia. Oh, crazy Cambia. You know, for the person who uh, is naturally upbeat, she sure went off the rails. She sure went off the rails. Fritz, if I was you, I would run for your life now, personally. You know? Pira's probably going to whisper to you, Don't do it. Don't stay. It's horrible. I mean, woof. Look at your room. My God. If I woke up in a room like that, ooh, I think uh, I've been captured by the local hillbillies. In fact, I think you have, my friend. I think you have. You've been... Captured by the local crazy people. Unfortunately, for you. Uh, kangaroo? Ah, oh, kangaroo. Kangaroo? Uh, how badly are your needs? I'm sorry, kangaroo. But, can you help out your mother? Just quietly, you know, just give her a little bit of a hand. Maybe, maybe just... Don't rip any more parts off. I know you might be keen for that, but you know, maybe to see if you can save her life. Uh, do what you can. Do what you can. Because uh, things are looking a little grim. Although I have to say, Mr. Megasloth here, he looks damn happy. He's like, I'm alive. I'm eating food. Um... Bushy-tailed and bright-eyed. You are. Kangaroo. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do it. I didn't mean to do it. You had a nice chat. Well. Yes. Yes. You did have a nice chat. But, uh, unfortunately. You seem to be fading fast, my friend. Fading fast. Pira. She goes to rest. For it is... Been a long day of, uh... Ooh, sounds like some violence happening on outside. Sounds like some violence is happening. 
Ooh, man. As long as it's not us. As long as it's not us. Kangaroo. She moves to eat her meal. By herself. For... She basically is... The lone survivor at this point. The rec room. Dining hall. It's gone dark. No longer is there anyone to tend the torches. It was looking all so promising. Kangaroo thought to herself. It looked so promising. And yet... Now it looks grim. She wished she had died the, blood the day the blood machines had come. For now... She is coughing away. She might be immune, but she's lost a few body parts and a lot of pain. <laughs> a lot of pain. She's praying. Dear Rimworld Gods, today I buried my sister and my father. We have already buried my sister. Why? Why must it be like this? Why indeed, kangaroo? Why indeed? What are you have to do? You're off to feed Fritz, hmm. Well, that's good. Is she, is she hungry? Wow, she is. Pira. She gets up, she thinks uh, she's gonna go feed Cambiara as well. Cambiara. Getting close to the edge here. Close to the edge. No longer. No longer does she know what's happening around her. She's very confused. Very confused indeed. She barely knows what's going on. She believes Servexa is still alive now. Oh god, kangaroo. Hold on. Hold on. You can do it. Fritz, I'm mostly concerned for you. I am very concerned for you, my friend. Harvesting oats. <sighs> I'm gonna get some more. More food? Wow. Just wow. Bit more porridge. Consuming your pemmican. At some point, Pira, you need to finish this damn cooking. You see? Do you see how it's just sitting here? Pira? Do you see that? Well, it would help if you maybe just, you know, did something about that. Flax is coming along. Kangaroo. She's had enough. She's off to sleep. And Pira. She's just going to eat her pemmican all by herself in her room. And with that, another day came to an end for the children of Sudexa. Pira. Been a hard day. So she moved towards her bed. Would Cambia survive the night? Would Cambia survive? Hey guys, thanks again for watching. If you like what you've seen, hit that subscribe button or leave me a comment on anything you want to see in the future.